Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will look into um, React Drop Zone. We are going to use this um, library. So we're going to create a drag and drop, um, basically like an area that um, user can actually drag a file on top of that um, area or that specific zones. And we're going to use this library. So here we can have a quick look that it's a simple React hooks to create like a HTML file. Uh, compliant uh, drag and drop zone for files and this is how we use that so we will look into or deep dive into all of this and going to definitely um, create one as well and here this is the other page so this is the official website uh, about this uh, drag and react drop zone so this they show how to uh, use that and this is the uh, some of the reference and testing so um, we will try to copy some of the code here so in this case it's like the example of um, basic usage uh, with something like this drag and drop into this um, area then or we can just click to select a file from our um, PC and this is the the code also uh, there's a lot of things uh, this so this one is disable and uh, this is a lot of things and we're going to use or try to copy some of the code for testing purpose so here is the drag and drop is disable and um, you can see that I can just click on this here and we can uh, see a pop-up so we can just choose a, uh, select the file that we want to upload and here in this case the drag and drop is uh, disable I try to drag a file so in this case it's the picture and you can see that uh, it's actually disable that we kind of drag and drop here and uh, there's a lot of example more right here and we will look into all of this so this one here only accept the jpegs and uh, png file only otherwise uh, they will be rejected and here next one um, the same as the previous one it's just that this website is hosted with the Netlify, 5 which is uh, another tutorial that I already um, show you how to deploy React uh, onto uh, Netlify. 5 and next one right here this is the new um, install React application so this is what you can see and I just changed the text a little bit uh, about this tutorial it's React drag and drop um, tutorial so now let's have a look into the code and we're gonna get some of the uh, code from this page and try to see uh, if it's actually working. All right, so here is the uh, newly installed React application, and I'm going to actually refactor some of the code here. So what I can do, I can just try to copy the code from here, and uh, inside index.js we are going to use only this file for demonstration and we can actually delete the app.js afterward so here I'm going to um, remove all this not necessary and uh, paste the apps right there so here um, I can just disable this line this is the logo that we already seen and um, this one here as well so let me save that and see if it's working on the browser all right so um we already done the refactoring so this is uh, what we can see right now um so here we can start working on the basic example here okay so by the way i'm gonna close this uh, app.js we no longer need that we can uh, also uh, delete the file as well uh, so now let's focus on this uh, react prop zones um, sample code so we first need to install this um, library it's called react drop zone or there's also like commands here as well so we can just uh, copy right there and inside the um, our terminal or the command prompt we can just uh, install using this command um, nmp install uh, does a save and react drop zone
and this one here is quite popular so as you can see uh, this is the number of download for this week and it, currently it's version 10 so here uh, see uh, we can come back again uh, after this install uh, finished alright so now this has been installed let now start our um, react server again Alright, so um, it's been installed now. What we can do, we can try to use some of the code here. So I'm going to import this and also um, using this uh, React hook style and um, basically copy all of this. Then we can uh, refactor afterward. So here we're gonna keep this as uh, we required right here without using the app.js. So this one is required. I'm going to um, replace this here. So just put it there. And then the basic right here, which is the uh, function name, I'm going to replace it inside the uh, React DOM render, And then let's see what else we need I think um, we are good to go so now let's see the uh, website here alright so here we can see that um, it's actually working it's just that we don't have the CSS as for um, styling so right now if I want to test whether it's working or not I can just uh, click uh, in this area to select files so I click on that so here you can see that uh, the pop-up is actually showing and um, right here what I can try um, I can open one of my um, here the folder and then I just want to see if I can actually drag and drop some file uh, here inside this area so I'm going to choose one file which is um, this one here so this file I'm going to drag and drop you can see that um, it actually working so here um, is actually the name of my file that I just drag and drop so here you can see the name of the file and this is the size of the file in uh, that is uh, shown as a uh, bytes and um, now let's have a quick look onto the code so see we just want to know how it works and um, let's have a look together so here we try to import the um, react drop zones and using this and here we give it a function name or uh, this the function as a basics and this is propped we don't actually require this one and um, this here is a require as accepted file or the get a root property and this is the get input property and we use it as uh, you seen here so here um, accepted files uh, we loop it one by one and we want to know the uh, file path and also the size of the file so uh, that what we uh, actually see so here uh, let me try it again so let me try to drag and drop here so you can see that this is the file uh, name the path of that and here's the size so here inside the render uh, function we can see that um, we try to get the root property class name is just a drop zone and input uh, here is the get the prop coming from here and uh, just give it a name as drag and drop some file here or click to select file and then uh, this is the uh, file that we see and once we drag or we try to click or select one uh, from the pop-up then we just show the file name which is coming from this right here and that's how we see it on the screen okay so now next step here I want to actually see um, the styling that looks something like this so uh, let's have a look if we can find something like that so um, down here we should see something like here styling drop zone so uh, we can either use like this one here the um, inline styles or we can just use a uh, style component so I'm going to use the first one here the inline styling so we can try to copy this part right there and um, also with the uh, function as well so basically all of this 
and then we can change the code afterward so here from this part and um, I'm going to copy this and put it right here and then we can delete this and save and see what the change on our file here so it say um, use memo is not defined so here we can just um, put it right here on top the memo after the reacts and then save again and see if we can see something right here okay so here what we can see is actually the same as the one that we see on to the screen here on the website so um, before getting into or try to test this I just want to show you what use memo is so you can see that um, a use memo uh, the fun uh, the benefit of using it is that if there is no arrays provided a new value will be computed every render so um, the reason of using that is that we may rely on use the memo as performance optimization so um, this is something that we need to consider using for the uh, performance optimizations Alright, so I'm um, quickly look into that and we have already uh, done the styling. So now I want to see if it's actually working. So I can uh, drag and drop a file from my folder and see that you can see uh, the style actually um, around it. It's uh, become green, so meaning that it's active. And I can drag and drop here, but nothing's happened. And um, we will look into the code. Uh, very soon so I want to also click to select file so I click in this area and we can see that the pop-up is actually still working alright so I just want to try it again but nothing happened okay so the reason is that um, we can see that there's no action actually happen as the one that I uh, just showed previously and we need to uh, put some code right here and um, we just want to have a look here first so here this is the styling the base uh, style with the flex and this is the column center the padding all of this color the border color and this is the dash that we see the style on uh, the border um, of the drop zone and this is the active style with this color and this is accept uh, style with this color if it rejected then we can see this color and um, we use function and here get the root property input and drag or uh, also active and this is the drag accept here is the drag reject and uh, we only accept in this case uh, only the image if um, the file is uh, say uh, documents with the txt or uh, something else like uh, Word or Excel then uh, this will be rejected and here we use that memo which we already look into that and uh, this if um, actually the drag is active then uh, we use this the active style which will come with this color otherwise if it's not then we just use the it and it's going to show you like this gray color which is nothing happened and we can actually try to change the color here as well and it, this one here if it is drag accepted then we can show the accepted style with uh, whatever color code up there and it's rejected it's supposed to be like a little bit red color and now um, just want to show you if it's actually active then uh, I can change the code here so I, what I can do I can um, right here just put uh, copy this here and put it inside this uh, clip bracket and I change the color say in this case I want it to be um, black save it and see if it actually affects it here uh, so here you can see that it refreshed and by default it's going to show something like this so that how we can change the color here as well if not we can just change it back and put it here so you can see that it's become like a um, gray color just uh, as the style that we see on the website here all right so that's um, done for the styling and here next step we see if what else we can do 
okay so um we can actually use some of the code from the first example here so we can um, copy this block and then um, put it underneath here also we need to have the file so this one coming from this block and um, inside here is required the accepted file so we need to declare it uh, right here as well so um, here it is let's put it there and the accepted files I'm gonna put it right here and save the file and see uh, if we can get it okay so now uh, we can see like files right here so when I click on it see if it happened okay so you can see that it's actually uh, happening so uh, let me choose one of the files so in this case would be this one and you can also see that uh, inside the code here it say accept only the image type and you can see that it actually selects all type of the image only image and uh, I can just click this and you can see that here is the name of the file and this is the size of that uh, image file okay so um, see what else we can try so um, this is the drop zone styling accepted the specific file type which is uh, the one that we have right now the image uh, only accepted the image drag some file here and opening file uh, dialog program thickly so you can see that uh, sometime you see there's like a button that we can actually click to open the dialog so something like this but uh, we don't have that implemented right here so I think uh, we can try to use uh, the code right here for that as well okay so here we can see that this is actually the same and what we need is the button uh, after the drag and drop some file okay so we can just put it uh, drag and drop some file should be down here and um, we need to have the open one and on top here as well so this will open um, the dialog for us and now let's see um, you can now see that there's like a button here and when I click on this so we see a dialog and now let's try uh, any other file here so I just want to try this one and you can see that there is a, a problem it keeps showing me like the second time of the pop-up and let me try it again so this time it works so meaning that um, it doesn't work as expected the reason is that uh, right here you can see that it's already uh, have one which is we click on this part and it show like a dialog but when we try to implement uh, it's like a duplicated or uh, um, on top of that as well so that's why it keeps showing like a second time of uh, popping up so uh, let me try it again to show you what it's like so this is the issue that uh, we are having right now and uh, we need to disable the uh, default one right here so we can see right here that uh, it says for no click we can set it to true and no keyboard also set it to true as well so now let me go back and uh, here inside this uh, use drop zone so I can do a comma and put it right here and um, I might need to change uh, the name of that as well so we, we no longer use that and now let's go back and see if we have that uh, implemented all right so um, let me click on this area but you can see that there's nothing happened because we have reset it to um, no click uh, equal to true now let me try it again and I choose any other file so you can see that it's work as expected this is the file name and this is the size of the uh, file so um, and in the next uh, tutorial I will try to show you let's say uh, I choose an image and what it does it will actually show us the image preview right here rather than just like seeing the title of the image and the size of the image and that's pretty much it for this tutorial see you guys in the next video